Still no leads on a shooting at a popular downtown bar in Milledgeville over the weekend. Avery Braxton talks with people who frequent that downtown area to get their thoughts on safety. He joins us now in the newsroom. Investigators with Milledgeville PD say they're still trying to figure out what exactly happened. People who frequent downtown said they normally have nothing to fear. No, never. Not, not in the past four years. Georgia College senior Gavin Mason said he's had nothing to fear during his time frequenting Milledgeville's downtown. Like, I've, I've never personally felt like uncomfortable around people like whenever I was going downtown or anything like that. Milledgeville police want to keep it that way and are still investigating a shooting that happened at the Velvet Elvis Bar and Grill last Saturday. Milledgeville police say they responded to calls of shots fired from the Velvet Elvis around 1.15 a.m. Saturday morning. But some of the people that I talked to in Milledgeville's downtown said some people inside the bar heard something else entirely. There was, you know, people working upstairs bar, back bar, and downstairs bar, and they thought that they had heard a balloon pop or something like that. Lauren Smith, another Georgia College student, says she got a Snapchat showing a quick moment as the bar shooting happened. In the snap, you can hear the gunshot and someone start to scream. You know, there was a loud pop and then someone screamed. So you kind of assume that people would understand that was a bullet. But obviously after that, I'd seen that video, I knew what had happened. So it was clear to me. Smith says she doesn't normally feel unsafe downtown, but now she may think twice. I was out that night and I was out the night after, but definitely have been straying away from Velvet late night just because of the crowd that it's been attracting, which is really sad. That shooting sent two people to area hospitals. Kalisha Johnson of Sparta and Anthony Barnes of Milledgeville were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Frank, Lori. Anyone with information on that shooting is asked to call Milledgeville Police at 478-414-4000.